Hello everyone, happy to see you here and really interesting algebra problem today. So why do you want you to use your calculator right here? Because here is a problem 4 plus 4 divided by 2 and in parentheses times 1 plus 1. So as you can see very simple problem and of course most of you out there are like yes I can handle this problem, this is basic, I can handle this problem, basic addition, division, multiplication and once more addition, I learned this stuff in the third grade and I, I solve it, can solve it easily, yeah? So go ahead and put your answer down in the comment section so we have A, B and C is three options, so check your algebra skill right here, math skill, it will be really interesting to check our answer here in just one minute. Okay, so obviously we have this problem and obviously whatever order we select is going to create a different answer, because here is a question, do we do division first then addition, or multiplication then division, or addition then parentheses, so a lot of combinations, a lot of answers, so obviously we need to understand what is the correct order of operation right here. We have addition, division, multiplication and parentheses, so what about the first step? addition, division, multiplication or parentheses. So let's look at this PMDMC order of operation. This is the main popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific graphing calculators works according to PMDMC nowadays. Okay, so I take my red pen real quick and this PMDMC works from the top to the bottom. This is our first step we need to understand. From the top to the bottom. This is our first step. Okay, and let's rewrite this problem right here real quick. So we have four plus 4 divided by 2 and in parentheses 1 plus 1. So here is our problem and let's look about this PMDMC order of operation. So according to PMDMC order of operation, what is our first step? Our first step is parentheses because from the top to the bottom. First step is parentheses and now let's scan. Are there any parentheses right here? So no, 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 no. Yeah, we have this parentheses in the end right here of expression. So we can easily start with this step. 1 plus 1 equal to 2. Really great. We don't have parentheses anymore. So I just read this problem from the beginning. So 4 plus 4 divided by 2 and times 2. Okay, from this expression we have this one right now. Okay, let's go next. Exponents, this is the next step. So are there any exponents right here? So squares, cubes, no, I don't see any of those, which is really great because we go into the next step. We don't have exponents, which is really great. Okay, what is the next step? Multiplication. And a lot of students do this common mistake right here. They say, okay, multiplication, let's multiply this 2 times 2. But this may be the main common mistake right here and a lot of students do this. Because the correct approach to this step is to take the same, the same order with division. So if this is one group, multiplication and division, this is one group. So now we need to scan where do we have division and multiplication. So let's scan real quick. So we have addition at first right here and we have division. Yeah, we have this part right here and we have multiplication right here. So this part that we're interested in is right here. And now, what is, uh, here is the question. Do we do multiplication first, then division, or division first, then multiplication? And here is the answer. We need to scan what is the first sign from left to right. The first sign from left to right, if we're talking about order, is this division. So this is our first sign from left to right. So we need to divide. If we divide this 4 divided by 2, this is equal to, equal to 2. And I just write this element that we have right here. From the end we have this times 2 and 4 plus. 4 plus. Okay, so we have this expression and I hope every kid can solve this easily because before this addition we need to multiply it first. We have like 2 times 2 equal to 4, so 4 plus 4 equal to equal to 8. Do we have any answer right here? Yeah, we have this option, option B, so I can either write that our correct answer is option Option B, this is 8. Yeah, so here is our answer according to PMDMC. But a lot of countries, I know a lot of countries use bottomless right here and they have, they will have like completely different answer. I feel a lot of students, maybe um, maybe half of students uh, answered option A, yeah, because we multiply it first and then 4 divided by 4 equal to 1. So really interesting approach. According to PMDMC, my approach is option, option B. But you can easily write your suggestion about bond mass and you will have like option A or maybe three factorial, it will be really interesting. If you will have like option six, it will be really interesting to read about it. Okay, if you made this error, I'm happy you made this because you won't make this again. If you want to check this answer, you can easily plug in into like scientific or graphing calculator. You can easily have the same answer as, as mine, yeah? But uh, definitely uh, some uh, laptops or calculators works with uh, problems as you type it in, yeah? So if you type it step by step, they divide at first, they add at first, then divide, then multiply, then parentheses, so it will be a wrong answer, eh? yeah? So you can easily check your answer into scientific, in scientific or graphing calculator. 
Definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day. If you want to support me, you can leave a like below the video. I really appreciate it and it inspires me a lot to make a new interesting math content, math puzzles and IQ questions. Thank you for your time and have a great day.